So what I'd like to show here today is how we can light a neon bulb, this NE2 bulb right here, with just a 9 volt battery and a relay. So when I attach the battery, you can see that the bulb is lighting up here. This is 9 volts. That takes 90 volts to ignite. How are we getting over 10 times more voltage in there to let this guy light up? And what we have here is this circuit. We have our 9 volt battery. We have a relay which has a normally closed contact in it that we're using. And our coil for the relay. And a neon bulb hooked up across that coil. You often see these bulbs with 100K or 200K or whatever resistor across them, but we're not using that here. And uh, what happens is, when I touch the alligator clip to the battery, the coil energizes and it builds up a magnetic field. And when that magnetic field becomes strong enough, it opens this normally closed contact. That then allows the field to collapse. It's no longer getting nine, plus 9 volts put into it on this side and the negative on this side. This field collapses while that's open. And what that does is it makes a uh, reverse pulse. So pulse comes back out of this and through the neon bulb because it's separated from the rest of the circuit in that very short period of time, or, oh a millisecond or so, while this contact is open. So that lights this bulb up and that's what we see down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the oscilloscope up on channel 1 here, the yellow trace, and we're going to hook the um, probe up on this side and the ground of the probe to that side. And we're going to see that our circuit will produce a negative 300 volt pulse. So you'll notice that the ground is on the negative side of here. We got a positive going in here, but we'll get that inverse uh, uh, magnetic pulse come out of here. And we'll see that it'll uh, be greater than minus 300 volts coming out of there. So let's go take a look at that. So I have the scope here set up uh, for a single trace. And we're just I'm just going to take and tap the contact here. And we'll see that we got a, a good trace, good looking trace here. Notice that the trigger here, the little T, is at minus 300. It's also uh, re repeated up here as well, it says minus 300. So the trigger here, this particular pulse, happened to go below 300 volts. And uh, that's what triggered the scope. So if I expand that out, oh, by, and you'll also notice that the pulses are about every 4 or 5 milliseconds or so. We're on 5 milliseconds per uh, division here. So let's average it out. Say some of them are a little bit longer like this one, and some are a little shorter. But uh, if we average this out, we're getting about 200 of these pulses per second. So if I expand this out, we can see our time up here getting quicker and quicker. And there's the shape of our pulse that we got. So it hit minus 300 to set this off. And you can see there's about 9 volts right here and then this triggered the scope and the neon bulb. I'd also like to mention, we're back to our 5 milliseconds per division here. You'll see how narrow these pulses are. They're very, very small. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why we didn't necessarily need a resistor in with that bulb because there's just the actual amount of power going into the bulb is very small because it's a, it's a lot of voltage but for a very short period of time. Now, and under normal circumstances, if you have a relay in a circuit, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put something across this here to take up that voltage. You, last thing you want to see is that voltage that's getting created by this uh, inductive kickback going back into your circuit and taking out a, a driver transistor or MOSFET or uh, even if you've got it hooked up directly to the output of uh, some other circuitry. Um, you really don't want to see that, so you want to protect your circuitry by uh, putting a, a reverse diode in here or a small uh, resistor, something to absorb that energy so it doesn't get back into your circuit and, and burn out something that can't handle that kind of voltage pulse. Even though they're very short, they're very high.